Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another intuitive spiritual download. If this is the first time that you are coming across my channel, let me be the first to say, hey, hi, hello, come on in. Like, share, and subscribe as you come in. Maybe tell a friend that you found a platform and you just got a feeling that maybe they might be able to get something out of it. That's the purpose for these free readings, y'all, is for them to resonate with you. If you're new, if you're returning back, welcome back. Listen, hopefully at the end of the reading, you will have decided on what information resonated with your situation and holding yourself accountable to what information does not resonate with your situation. Just lay that down easy peasy, nice and greasy for somebody else to take. It's really just that simple. Now, my beautiful returning Soul Tribe family, I love y'all so freaking much. Thank you for your beautiful love donations, your beautiful emails, your beautiful prayers. I love you so very much. I am eternally grateful to be here with you today. Thank you for allowing me again to be myself. Shout out to the people that come to survive the really long intros. You're very special people, in my opinion. And shout out to the people that come to survive the commercial breaks. Shout out to the people that let the other commercials play. I appreciate that. The Google AdSense, at least for a minute, so that I can get a little bit of credit. I appreciate it. I really, really do. I love you, Soul Tribe. Come on in here and get to the spiritual work. Soul. What are we going to sing, Soul Tribe? Soul Tribe. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm feeling a little goofy. Listen, it just came up out of meditation. When I come up out of meditation, y'all be high as a kite, straight sober, but high off of the, the, the energy, like, you know, from the meditation. Am I the only one that feels that way after you come out of meditation? I'm like, woo, like, that's how I feel <laughs> after breathing into parts of my body that needed me to breathe into the parts of my body. Listen, but come on in here. Listen. So tribe, so tribe, so tribe. I love you, so tribe. You know I love you. I love you, and you love me. We hug, we, we we energetically give each other a kiss on the cheek and say, peace be with you, peace be with you, shalom, shalom, listen, and assalamu alaikum. I love y'all. Let's go ahead and get into this spiritual energy. So you know, these people are really, really angry about that last tower. They're angry about the towers that they keep getting, y'all, because they kept trying to block us. You still got like the last of the Mohicans, as in the Karmic Villians, yeah, that are still hanging on by a shred and a thread of hatred and jealousy and competition. They're just hanging on to that one little bit, baby. They feel like if they heal and let that go, somehow you're winning. This is what they fail to realize, Divine Collective. We're going to win anyway. The victory is already ours. We're just here to like kind of pass through time, right? And bring those uh, blatant reminders of prophecy. It's really just that easy to understand. But for some of them, I don't know, they could be feeling slightly remedial because they're going to try it again. So this, uh, this, what is this uh, coming up here? This eclipse, okay? Really angry about that. This was a great opportunity to just release. Oh my God. You talk about dark nights of the soul that you'll never have to relive and have pop quizzes on? Yeah, that type of release. A lot of stuff from the past that just will absolutely never be a part of your current situation. It's just not a requirement. It's not in your spiritual contract. Nevertheless, let's get into this energy. Archangel Michael, thank you for protecting me. Shout out to the creator of all things. You know I love you. Listen, six of cups. Yeah, look, some people steal from the past. They don't like the fact that you keep transmuting this energy, okay? So again, the biggest trick that the enemy was pulling after they realized they couldn't stop us was just to keep projecting some type of confusion, um, trying to keep you in old cycles that needed to be closed, projecting old bad memories onto you, trauma, uh, whatever, whatever you've told your enemy in confidence, you know, how you have that pillow talk, 
before you realize you in the bed with the enemy. Okay, the pillow talk. You divulged a lot of information. You gave a lot of yourself. You told this person. So somebody felt like they had enough to take you down energetically. This person's like, I know everything about you. You told me everything. And you're like, well, no, not really. You just kind of knew my past. And so somebody's working off a of past energy to keep you in this confusion, right? It's not going to work though. Okay, by the time you get this video, it will have already failed. Um, Six of Swords is about healing. This is about transmuting. Somebody's transmuting this, this energy from the past. Somebody has healed from the past. Somebody's no longer confused, but somebody wants you to be confused. And now they're apologizing, okay, because of this betrayal, because of wanting to hold you back. Somebody's being forced to deal with their own bullshit. Nine of Cups, wishes being fulfilled. Somebody was really, really wanting something to be held up for you. Okay, on a mental level, Six of Cups is nostalgia, the past, people that you've left behind, old memories, okay? Yeah, Two of Swords is having to make a decision. Somebody wanted you indecisive. You sailed to Kamba Waters and you went towards your wishes to be fulfilled. Clarify this Ten of Swords. Who is this person? What is it that they want us to know? These are people that are still trying, just so y'all know, even though it's to no avail, they're still trying to have a victory, Okay up against this ace of wands this ace of wands is the helping hand of the creator this is a weapon from the heavens period you use it when you need it and when you use it it's gonna get the job done it is the biggest wand in at war in any spiritual realm okay it is the biggest wand it comes from the creator of all things so who's going up against that a lot of people still trying six of wands this is what they're planning next okay it's still a victory for us. So somebody's mad because they want to win no matter what. Show me these people. What are they planning? Okay. The Empress. Somebody is uh, possibly paying somebody or somebody paid somebody. Yeah. So um, hmm, clarify that Empress though. Clarify that Empress before I say that. Queen of Swords, Libra Energy. Okay, clarify that chariot. Capricorn Energy. Gemini Energy. So somebody was hiding the fat under the moon, the new moon, eclipse, whatever, however they wanted this to pan out time release magic they wanted something to come into full fruition by by this eclipse okay somebody's already in regret this shit then backfired already okay we're, we're not even on eclipse day it has not eclipsed as far as i know okay depending on when you get this video but by the time you do it possibly could have already happened somebody's already sad about something that's supposed to happen around this eclipse energy okay Page of Pentacles, something about earthly possessions, Capricorn energy, something about money, desires, a child with a gift. Somebody absolutely did pay somebody, Six of Pentacles, to do some type of work, okay? The Empress is here, Libra and energy, could be a Libra, could be a Gemini with the Fool. Somebody is, uh took a chance, okay? Again, something about willpower, something about moving forward, something about blocking somebody's forward movement. Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, and or Gemini. So you got a Libra and you got a Gemini here. Okay. Life's birthday could be in June. Yeah, the sun. Something's been illuminated. Whatever it is, something has not panned out. When I see the sun and the moon, I think eclipse. This is what spirit is telling me. I think eclipse, sun and the moon, right? Something about that day. Somebody wanted something to be stuck for you. I just feel like somebody wants something to be stuck. Yeah. Somebody is working for you to walk away. They want you to walk away or lose momentum in something that you could very well be good at. Yeah. I just heard don't give up on your dreams. And whoever this person is, they shouldn't quit their day job. Okay. Because somebody's ass is about to go through it. Yeah. Look, eight of cups. Somebody wanted you to walk away. From this cup that the divine has for you. Somebody wants you to walk away from your destiny. Ace of Cups is like a gift from the divine. Like who turns down this cup? That's crazy. You can turn down a whole bunch of cups, but don't ever turn down the Ace of Cups. Eight of Cups, somebody wanted you to turn that down and walk away. I'm being guided to take those cards and so I will. Yeah, sending you some conflict. 
So this is what somebody was planning. Clarify. Show me what it is I need to see, please, and thank you. Yeah, justice. Heavy on the Libra and energy. My aunt's in the building. Something about uh, something being made fair. Why would that justice be there for Libra and energy? Yeah, heavy on the Libra and energy. King and queen of swords, Aquarius, Libra, and or Gemini energy. Heavy Libra here, okay? Something about past investments, okay? This could be good, bad, or indifferent. Why do we need to know this, though, about this Libra? Maybe there was a Gemini attacking a Libra, okay? Or this person did some type of magic. When I see the seven of pentacles with the magician and justice, I see that whatever somebody did is being made fair. Okay. Whatever type of investment they made doing magic, that shit's coming back. Okay. Some type of partnership. Somebody teamed up with somebody, two of cups. I just heard bound by blood. It could have been some type of oath. Okay. Page of wands. It's something about children, something about children and something about information. Clarify that page of wands. What is that about? Yeah, somebody was painting some type of an illusions. Somebody was doing projections over a child, projections over you. Um, just weird energy, whoever this person is. Clarify this uh, empress energy. Yeah, somebody's heartbroken. Because something that they planned that was supposed to manifest by way of the sun and the moon, the eclipse, it, it has it's already backfired. Can you imagine doing something at a particular date and you're like, by this date, I know that this is going to happen, right? And then the same day, some shit backfires. Like you never go the amount of days that you're requesting from the universe for something to manifest. You're like, on this day, it has to happen. No, it's like, girl, you... Show me what this person did. I can't make it up. Listen, whatever it is, they're putting their ass in the five of pentacles. Somebody is like, somebody's about to be in the streets from playing with witchcraft and magic. Okay, five of pentacles. I told you, somebody wanted you in poverty. Now they're watching and this shit has backfired already. It's not even the eclipse. And it's all the eclipse energy that they wanted to come to you has backfired. Page of swords. Somebody's just watching. Okay, monitoring spirit. Clarify a little twitch to my left eye. Could be giving you the evil eye. Yeah, it could be looking at you all weird. Somebody finds you to be very attractive. Queen of Wands is real attractive. Fine. Sagittarius, Aries, and or Leo. Very fiery, unapologetic. Okay. Somebody's watching you be attractive. Somebody could be jealous of your looks. Yeah, and they're also watching you close out a cycle. Somebody has nothing that they can use in their spiritual uh, uh, by way of their spiritual arsenal, if you will, that can attack you. Nothing. Somebody's a master. Somebody's mad because you're well with your shadows. Yeah, look. This fell right on top of the moon. Nine of swords. Somebody could have been sending you mental conflict. Somebody wanted to win, okay, at all costs. This was supposed to manifest by the uh, eclipse. And so that you would walk away from something that you're really good at. Whatever it is. Somebody wants you to walk away from it or just an offer. When I saw the Ace of Cups, I'm like, you mean walk away from the help of hand of the creator? How do you do that? Why would somebody do that? Okay. Uh, it is what it is. <laughs> so says the young people, right? Listen, we're the new young people. Nine of Wands. Somebody was guided to be guarded towards this energy. Somebody's very protected from whatever this is. Okay. Anything else we need to see about this person? Yeah, death. Okay. So somebody did some type of death magic. Okay. Something about a transformation. Something about a rebirth. Maybe somebody didn't want that for you. Yeah, look. And you coming up as the high priestess. It's like somebody was like either right where they were about to be just at this certain spiritual level. And somebody intuitively felt that. And they're just like, oh, no, I can't see you that high up. I can't see you that high ranked. And you're like, how can you not see it? I already see it. It's already finished. And me and the creator of all things have made some type of an agreement. I'm co-creating with the creator, the high priestess energy. So how is it that you don't want me to be here? This is my seat. Okay. Again, you got people out here playing with the universe, doing stuff that they know nothing about, trying to block you from certain positions that they don't have the right to block you from. Under their own illusions. 
trying to decide who they really are. They didn't lie to the universe so much about what it is that they want. And it's not coming into fruition. This is why somebody's in the nine of swords. Somebody wanted to prevent your spiritual growth with the death and the high priestess. Hell yeah. <laughs> hell freaking yeah. Somebody wanted to stop your freaking growth, man. Listen, bastard. Somebody wanted to prevent you from going to the next level. And you balanced it out. When I see the two of pentacles with the six of six of wands or six of swords or whatever, I think alchemizing. I think of alchemization. I think of the alchemist. I think of somebody transmuting, transmutating, taking that darkness, turning it into light and putting it in your pocket. And you're like, thank you. You just made me more powerful because you gave me all that attention. You're giving me all that heat. Yeah, I know what to do with that evil eye. I know what to do with that negativity. First of all, I'm going to bring about a tower. I can't make it up. The tower. Adios, arrivederci. You know, like me, I know, like you. Listen, but you keep coming to me. You keep coming to I know, talking to you. You know, talking to me. Listen, I know, talking to you. You know, like me, I know, talking to you. Don't looking at me. Don't nothing. Listen, don't do nothing. Order in the damn court. You brought a tower. After the two of pentacles, you said, oh, okay, this is the bullshit. You took it. You churned it with the universe, alchemized the shit. Voila, turned it into glitter and sparkles and stars and light and healing and love and all these beautiful things from above. And you balanced it out. Somebody's ass caught a tower long before the eclipse was, this was time release magic. It's already backfired with the tower. Somebody's sitting up looking crazy. Somebody sacrificed themselves. They lied. The universe caught the lie. Somebody's being held in contempt of spiritual, karmic, carnal law. It's a cardinal rule. You never go up against the universe with bullshit. The universe is going to give you back what you give it. Listen, the hangman, somebody crucified themselves, hung themselves. Too busy trying to stay on top of your affairs and what you're doing and where you're going and who you're talking to and who you know and what you said. And yeah, look. Virgo energy, nine of pentacles, one pentacle away from 10. Somebody's mad about that. Somebody's really close to their goal with the death and the, the high priestess. Somebody went to a whole new spiritual level. There's things that will never bother you again. <laughs> there are situations, people, places, and things and experiences that absolutely just don't bother you. Somebody's absolutely an ascended master. Somebody's mastered all of their dark nights of the soul, all the shadows, so whatever the enemy is cooking up, let me tell you, mm -mm. it's already failed, okay? Again, this is this is days before the eclipse. Somebody had plans. Somebody had something that they needed to bring into manifestation by a certain date. And now there's a tower because karma's here. I can't make it up. This is telling me Mercury retrograde, Gemini energy. You know, when I think of Gemini, I think of communication, I think of Taurus. I think of Taurus ruling the throat. Gemini ruling conversation, communication, right? Mercury retrograde energy. It's like getting straight A's during Mercury retrograde when all the shadows come out. And you're like, oh, okay, the freaks come out at night. The freaks come out at night. The freaks come out at The freaks come out. Listen, the freaks come out at night. Yeah, the shadow. You know what it is during Mercury retrograde? Did I not just say Taurus? Okay, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Gaia energy. The universe is making things fair in the heavens and in the earth, period. It's a tower. Somebody thought they had, did I not just say making things fair? In the heavens, the angels and the earth judgment. You got judgment angels on the loose, on assignment, saying what's good. You got people on the run, running from their karma. Who are they fighting up against? Thinking that they have a fighting case. You don't have a fighting case. Your case has been closed. Why? Because you abused your power. You lied to the universe. You still lying to yourself. I just heard they can't stop nothing. So listen. Can nobody hold us down? Can nobody break our stride? Oh no. We got to keep on moving. Listen, temperance. The angels are saying we got it. 
Is it is, is my camera shaking, y'all? Hold up. Don't let the camera shake. Mm -mm. So listen, temperance, okay? The angels are saying, we got it. Don't worry. That's the second angel, Gabriel and Archangel Michael. Listen, who's trying to come and do anything to you and evil eye you? It's stupid. The emperor is here. Clarify this emperor and the higher font. Somebody's coming up as a straight up leader. Somebody wanted to outrank you. Somebody wanted to stop you from passing them in rank. Again, somebody's too preoccupied with rank. When I meet somebody that's wiser than myself, usually it's an older person, right? I don't look at rank. I look at, oh, here's somebody that I can absolutely learn from. Oh, you know a lot. You've lived a lot longer than me. Or that's how I see it. In this particular case, you got somebody in some petty ass, you know, uh, intrigue of an illusion that you're trying to pass them up. And somehow they feel as though it's annihilating their existence, how is somebody else succeeding, bothering your success if you're so successful and you're so happy and you're so satisfied? Somebody was very bothered by the fact that you were going through this transformation. Death to the high priestess, somebody got some new spiritual gifts. She Standing on earth angel business. Three of pentacles is a collaboration. Now somebody wants to work with you, okay? After they weren't able to uh, take you out. Yeah, somebody could be wanting to work with you. Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, and Energy. Somebody's got very serious psychic gifts. Somebody can see. Somebody's the high priestess. Somebody tried to stop you from ascending, uh, going to another level. Yeah, look. Somebody literally was fighting you, sending you conflict. Like, what are you doing? Get away. Uh, I... Uh, Ay, caramba, somebody's ass was losing it. Yeah, something about your financial stability, whatever it is, it's really bothering somebody. Your status, your stature, okay? Something about you moving forward. Four of Wands could be to a new location, a new partnership, collaboration, whatever this is. Somebody's financially stable, okay? And whoever this person was or whatever they were cooking up, show us what they were cooking up. Show us current energy right now with these people. Mm, interesting. So this wanted to come up like this because some of these cards are upside down. But listen, these are people from the past. They're trying to leave, trying to relocate. Okay, Six of Cups could be a community of people, could be a city of people. Somewhere where somebody grew up and maybe you still know people that live in the same space and place. Yeah. Somebody is just trying to uh, open up a past door. Very common energy. Bear with me, y'all, as I just straighten out these cards. Maybe get yourself some spring water or stretch a little bit or sing Soul Tribe. Listen, Soul, what is what being Soul Tribe lately? Listen. So try, get it together now. So try, so try, so try, so try. I love you so much. <laughs> so dramatic. Cha. I love you so much. Listen, if you're a newcomer, welcome. Congratulations. That means that you're surviving the reading and you could have possibly have found your soul tribe family. All right. So all the cards are in order and ready to go. Y'all, listen, I'm a stickler. For order, right? And justice. Holy Spirit. Six of Cups. People from the past. Current energy. They're cooking up something, y'all. Yeah, they're still trying. They're still lying. They're still trying to sacrifice you. They're like, no, I wasn't trying to do that. No, you lied. Listen, we know. It's okay. Be quiet. <laughs> they're still trying to sacrifice you. They're stuck, though. 
Okay, I just heard hitting a roadblock, but they're still trying. Whoever this emperor is, could be a father figure, could be an uncle, could be a grandfather, whoever this person is. Or this, uh, this, uh, oh, okay, this could be a Pisces, Aries. Somebody from the past, whoever this person is, honey, that's got this fire and this water, okay? This person is weird, y'all. Who is, they're under severe judgment. It's like they got nothing but angels around them, watching them, watching everything that they do. Somebody's wishing bad to try to stop you from getting to this next level. This could get somebody a lot of recognition, whoever you are, high priestess to death. Something about your transformation being seen. Something about illumination, okay, is what I'm getting. Somebody's like seen as um, a healer. So a lot of feminine energy here. Queen of Pentacles, Empress, High Priestess, Queen of Cups. Okay. Mm-hmm. You had somebody that didn't want you to be this great teacher or leader. This is some beautiful feminine energy. It's not easy to get to that Empress energy. You got to forgive people, you know, that don't even deserve it, right? Listen, not a sword. You have to stand up for yourself. You have to go up against things to get to this level because this is your seat. I can't make it up. The high priestess. Somebody knows that. Somebody's charging at you. Clarify current energy. They're under judgment. Yeah, nine of cups. Somebody's like watching you get your wishes fulfilled. Okay. Somebody's like in this, I'm not going to give up until I stop you from getting to this ace of pentacles. But you're. it's coming. You are the high priestess. Wherever this emperor hangman energy is, this person from the past... Again, I'm getting a March, Aries, Aries, Pisces, whatever this is, March, okay? Because there's too much water and fire and it's too blatantly clear. Pisces, Aries, okay? Not a sword. Somebody was still trying to wage some type of weird ass battle towards you. What is their deal? Because the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, yeah, look, this is their deal. This is what Spirit is saying. Oh, Nine of Swords is like sleepless nights, restless nights, baby, tossing and turning, flipping and flopping, trying to figure out how, when, what, where, because of some friendship, partnership, two of cups. This could have been a lover. This could have been a friend, a partner, a homie, lover, friend, whatever it is, honey, it's over because it is the end. Three of Pentacles, somebody could be trying to get some information about you. Um, somebody knows that you're really close to the Ten of Pentacles. Clarify that nine of swords for that person. Who is that person that's trying to stop this? They can't. Somebody can't stop it. I don't know. They're going to come in trying to breadcrumb though. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. Somebody's going to come in trying to make some type of little gesture towards your hard work. Somebody knows that you're really, really close. Somebody wants to just have a silent battle with you. Look at this. Back turn, focused, swords on the ground. Somebody's wasting all their time, all their life focused on you. Waging war on you and it's not working. Five of swords. Somebody wants you stuck. It's not working though. So common sense would tell somebody, hey, you know, wait, listen, this backfired like a whole bunch of times on me. It seems like my life has gone from sugar to shit. Maybe I should stop. That would be too much like, right, somebody's not doing it. This is why the hell they up in the middle of the night looking crazy, pulling on the edges, biting the nails, okay? Toenails, fingernails, somebody's, somebody's out here looking crazy. Can't make it up. It's trying to stay in this silent competition. Five of Wands, look. Waging war. Trying to create chaos. Trying to create confusion. Okay, well, listen. This is what your life is dedicated to. Then you got some big problems, my friend. I know talking to you. You know talking to me. Why can't we just not talking? Listen, I don't get it. Five of Swords, Five of Wands. Somebody's out here fighting with themselves, okay? Over a friendship. Because mental swords is self-imposed imprisonment. Somebody's having a battle in their mind against you, but in reality, yeah, you're 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 not even there. You're king of swords on somebody's ass. You're like adios, arrivederci. Listen, you're gone. Somebody's a king energy, queen energy, high priestess energy. After a death and a transformation, after the eclipse, like the eclipse promoted you. What? Somebody was promoted by the planet. Somebody got a promoted a promotion. By way of the ethers, like the spirit world graduated you. Okay. So somebody needs to understand that. What does that mean? More spiritual protection, more spiritual guidance, more understanding, more revealing of secrets, universal secrets, understanding certain things, you know. I used to get people this, uh, that used to tell me back in the day, 
they'd be like, how do you know? And I'm like, I just know. Like back then, I'm like, yeah, I got a gift. Okay, fine. Yeah, I just, I just be knowing. They're like, girl, everything that you said, it happened. I'm like, I know. I just be knowing sometimes, right? Okay. So here somebody is uh, trying to put you in the I know and I don't know and wherever they trying to be. It's a lot of chaos. Somebody's trying to figure out how the hell to communicate with you. They could be sending messages, okay? They could be sending things to your home, some type of gift or correspondence, but somebody's definitely taking action because some shit has backfired, okay? The Eclipse ain't even here yet. Eight of Cups, and they're having to walk away and abandon some bullshit that now has got them in their head and they can't sleep at night, all because of the Five of Wands wanting to win at all costs, Five of Swords, silent and secret competition, some type of argument, you know, people wanted chaos. They wanted smoke. Somebody wanted all the smoke. Okay. You totally ignored it. Went through your transformation, came out on top, and then now somebody's stuck in a nine of swords. Well, listen, I don't know. Yeah. Four of pentacles in the reverse. Somebody was trying to hold you back. That shit backfired in the reverse, meaning they can't hold on to you. Period. So whatever somebody thought they were doing by holding on to you or trying to stay in your energy, it could have very well made somebody sick. We've been seeing this a lot lately. Let me tell you why. Because the light that we're carrying, y'all, is like light that can't be penetrated. Not with bullshit. It's only going to reflect back to other people that are giving off that same light, period. Right? So then you got people that want to reach for that light. And they're in these karmic cycles. They're carrying all these demonic forces. They have all this unhealed energy by way of being silently in competition with you or whatever their insecurities are, right? Their insecurity, insecurities, excuse me, are obvious. And so now here they are. They find themselves waging war against you, trying to figure out what they were fighting for to start with. Some of them are realizing they're in a fight with themselves. Divine Collective, you're coming up as the King of Swords, the High Priestess, twice clarifying the Queen of Cups, the Empress, what? And Judgment and Justice is here? Okay. And the Sun and the Moon? Okay. Well, you know, sometimes, yeah, look, it's a missed opportunity. Somebody let their ass talk them into a shitty situation. <laughs> Somebody let their lower vibrational self, insecure self, talk themselves into getting themselves into some shitty ass karma. That now they're trying to figure out what's going to happen. How are they going to do it? They came up against the Empress. I cannot make it up. Libra energy. Somebody came up against somebody very anointed, very blessed. Somebody that is absolutely an ascended master. Somebody that's helping, doing something by way of humanity. Okay. Absolutely, you know, the Empress is not prejudiced. Okay. Could be a masculine. Could be a feminine. Could be a combination of the two. Whatever it is, is divine collective energy. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Slow moving energy, slow and steady, wise decisions. I can't make the shit up. Listen, I can't make it up. Did I not just say nine of pentacles, slow and steady? One pentacle away from 10, nine, 10. I can't make this up. Listen, so they're, you know, counting your money. I never understood people that counted other people's money. That's not your money. Why are you counting it? And never count money you don't have in your hand yet. Listen, somebody was already spending this. In their mind, thinking that you're going to be in this weird ass connection. It's like, no, what are you thinking? I wouldn't do that. Why would I do that? <laughs> Why would I do that when the universe is saying no? There's so many freaking red flags. Yeah. Nine of pentacles to the ten of pentacles to the ace of pentacles. This is destiny. This is what is happening. This is what will happen. Legacy, inheritance, culmination, fruits of our labor, okay? Yeah. New opportunities, new ventures, new money, new prosperity, I just heard. Like right now. Wow, current energy. That's beautiful. Somebody didn't want you to have this. Oh, it's nothing new. And you got the nerve to be out here looking real good and fiery. Heavy on the Sagittarius, Aries, and or Leo, divine feminine energy. Divine feminine energy is just dominating right now, okay? I mean, as much as I, I know that a masculine can embody a queen of wands, but I'm just getting feminine energy, mother earth energy, queen of pentacles, all the elements working together, water, fire signs, you know, air signs, like everybody is controlling their element, 
by way of a high vibration. Not only that, they have respect for all of the elements. So they know how to use all of the elements, fire, wind, water. What is it? Fire, water, uh, earth, air. Okay. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Listen, that Virgo energy and these people weigh down. Somebody did something they can't get out their head. Clarify that Ten of Wands. Again, somebody wanting you to feel way down, Queen of Pentacles, yeah. And you came out financially independent, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody wanted you way down so that you couldn't get to the Nine, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. What? Ace of Cups? Lord, have mercy. Show me the person that's out here looking crazy. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? Did I not just say that? Seven of Swords, sneaky and deceptive. Show me the person that's out here looking crazy. This is how crazy they look. Look. You know why they're crazy? Because they're running too busy trying to see how much they can get away with being sneaky and deceptive and not even looking at what's coming in front of them, which is that tower. Okay. And that nine of swords, sleepless nights and the 10 of wands too busy trying to cover up something. And they missed this. This is what was in front of them. Your ancestors, seven of wands. You see that big ass wand, all these people coming up against this one wand. All of y'all, these are covens, these are organizations, these are family members, these are groups, all these wands. And you got the biggest one and you're protected. Your ancestors are saying you will not be touched. So while somebody's out here being sneaky and deceptive, thinking that they're sneaking up on you, okay, now they're weighed down, 10 of wands, 7 of swords, sneaky and deceptive, 7 of wands. Oh yeah, let me tell you what was at the end of that block, that 7 of wands. See, had you turned your head, see, turn your head that way. To see, you would have saw that tower. And you would have saw the ancestors about to whoop your ass for trying to block a divine name. Whoo, Lord have mercy. The sun. Whatever it is, baby, whatever was done in the dark, obviously got brought to the light. The sun is here. It's illuminated. It is what it is. What's the outcome, please? And thank you. Spirit is saying continue to stay on quiet with these people, on silent. Queen of Swords, stay in your lane. Be wise in using the sword of truth. Queen of Swords is somebody that's wise. They're not a battle fighting fool. You're not going to catch them arguing with somebody, saying things that don't matter, that don't hold any spiritual weight. Huh. Yeah, something that can't help somebody. What is that? That's aimlessly babbling, okay? And or just going on a tangent. When you're in those conversations, every word in a conversation should hold some type of weight. It should be something that you're listening to and you say, oh, this is a conversation worth having. Otherwise, it's just a waste of time. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a waste of time. If it's something that you're not getting something out of conversationally, it's a waste of time. But the universe is speaking and the universe is absolutely packing the divine bees. I mean... I don't know. Maybe somebody needs to check the numbers because the numbers don't lie. Check the score, something, whatever it is. The universe is saying, I got your back, Divine Collective. So this eclipse with the sun and the moon, ooh wee, it's about to bring about a whole new reality. And I promise you, whatever it is that you're conceiving it to be is what it's going to be exactly. And it's all good. So whatever somebody thought they were doing, let them keep thinking that until they're all thought out. Who would have thunk it? This is the message though. I love you. If this resonated with you and you'd like to donate to the channel, it's not required, but I'm glad that it resonated. One, two, if you want to donate, all my information is in the description box below. It is appreciated. I do appreciate that when people donate. It does. It makes me feel good. So thank you very much. If you want to send me love and light and give me hugs, I hope you do that anyway, because guess what? You are my family. And I do this because I want people to get truth and clarity on their journey. I really, really do. I do. Like for real. I really do. I love y'all though. Okay. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace be with you.